guys, today is Sunday the 6th of October, so this is Vlogtober number 6. Uh, I did film yesterday, I just forgot to edit it and upload it, so I will be editing that here a little bit and uploading it, so you'll get two, five, and six on the same day. Assuming I remember to edit tonight. We just got back from Walmart and Devin's dad, so we went there to eat breakfast this morning and we played and hung out there for a while. And then we went to Walmart to buy some stuff. Jesse's behind me playing with some toys, but I can't show him because he's in his underwear. Devin's off work today. We were going to go to the pumpkin thing, but it's canceled because of the rain. So I guess we're just going to hang out at home all day. And we got some pizzas to cook later. Frozen pizza. We're just going to hang out and probably watch movies and stuff like that today as a family. So I may not film much. It's talking. But um, if I don't, then it'll be really short. I'm, I'm sure I'll crochet at some point. So there'll be clips of that. <laughs> supporting my towel <laughs> but Devin's in there giving Jesse a bath right now I elected he do it since I give Jesse baths all week he can do it on the weekend when he's off <laughs> but um uh the cowl what was it called wide wide neck bandana cowl by bag of day crochet that I made myself it's actually right here I made myself this one out of knit crate yarn uh the august one I'm trying to fix the cow part this beautiful one, which I love. I can't wait to wear it when it gets cold. Uh, my sister seen that video and she wanted a set of the cowl and the headband. So I made her the cowl today. She actually picked out one of the yarns that was gifted to me in that huge yarn haul. She's seen it and liked it, so it's right here. <laughs> I can't put it on because of this thing. It's the same exact cowl. Hers is a little bit bigger looking because um, it's made with an actual worsted weight yarn whereas this was supposed to be worsted but it's really thin it is the red heart color scape the, the thingies covered up <laughs> and the colorway montreal i think yeah montreal really pretty um gray and purple and some like pink color in there she really liked it so i got the cow all done and i have to wait to make the headband when she um comes here so i can make the right amount of chains because her head's a little bit bigger than mine so i want to make sure it fits her good um she's a lot taller than me she's like four and a half five inches taller than me so i know her head's definitely bigger than mine no offense hattie <laughs> but yeah her cow looks really good and she wanted it close to the neck too so i decreased it also um i did it a little differently because this cow came out bigger so i didn't do the granny square rounds as or rows as much as mine because it's you know the size difference is big you can look at the granny clusters and see that the one on my shawl is way smaller than the ones on her shawl i mean cowl <laughs> 
But I love that pattern so much. I'm actually working on another one now. Out of also Colorscape. It's Colorscape that was gifted to me also. Munich, I think. That's like in Russia, isn't it? <laughs> Somewhere, I don't know. But um, I got an idea for who I'm going give to this, gift this to for Christmas. So I'm going to make this for her. And um, I know my sister will know who it, I'm talking about when she sees this. And my mom probably will know. Okay, I'm just going to say it's for my mom. <laughs> uh, my mom doesn't always watch all of my videos all the way through. So, but either way, I'm going to make her a cowl and headband set too. And uh, I might make more because I really enjoy this pattern. It's in my brain. I have it memorized already. So, um, I'm just making them. They're pretty and really quick and easy. And um, this one I made my sister took an entire ball of the Colorscape, which these ones are size 4. I think they have 180 something on them. So let me find it. They have 187. Took an entire ball and maybe like 10 yards of the other one. So I still have a bunch of yarn in here for um, my sister's headband and probably will have a scrap ball left, which I'll figure out something to do with. So I got the two balls pulled out for my mom's and then if I'm, I might make some more just to gift other women in my life. And um, yeah, they're, it's a fun pattern. I love it. If you haven't made it, go ahead and try it because it's awesome. I just seen the end that I forgot to weave in on my sisters. I thought I got them all, but I missed one. I love this yarn too. It turned out really pretty. She has a, a winter coat that is uh just heard a noise. She has a winter coat that is a eggplant color, so this should go really good with it because it's got deep purple in it. And this yarn's really soft and squishy. It's just I love that. But I'm sitting here, I just got caught up on all of my YouTube videos. I finally watched all of my watch later. The only thing that's left in there right now is a pattern for a hat that I want to make. So now I gotta wait till people start uploading some more videos. And I think I might turn on some Jeopardy and watch it a little bit. It's 720 so I don't really have anything else to do now. I got a little laundry in the dryer. I gotta go hang up and fold and all that. <laughs> but yeah, me and Devin's been talking. Um, we gotta start adulting more health-wise. Eating better and stuff like that because he's having some health issues. Nothing serious. Just stuff that would probably be fixed if we had a better diet and stuff. <laughs> so we were talking about earlier that we need to start doing better again because we we flip flop like just about everybody with uh weight loss and all that stuff so i gotta start uh doing better <laughs> for our sakes and for jesse you know we gotta teach him the right way to eat and all that i don't look forward to it because <laughs> i'm i'm an emotional eater although i've been doing a lot better lately i've actually not been eating as much lately and um i have a bad habit with binge eating especially uh with emotions like if i'm super stressed or Something like that, I will binge, but I haven't done that lately. I've been really good. It's almost like my tastes and stuff have changed, or my mental state. <laughs> and um, I haven't been eating nearly as much, and, and my portions and everything's just been smaller. So maybe now's a good time to do some changes. And so I guess next time I'll go grocery shopping, it'll be healthier stuff. <laughs> I might actually go tomorrow and get some stuff. But um, yeah, because let's see here in 2015 I was still working outside the home I was working at Walmart actually I was overnight stalker and uh, that was the year that I got pregnant let's see here I got pregnant in July didn't find out I was pregnant until towards the end of August and September is when I quit working because of health risks with Jesse um, but because I was working I had lost 35 pounds just working from you know walking all the time stalking hit, lifting things pulling carts all that kind of stuff and I was down to about 188 which was the smallest I've been in since I was a kid and I got down to size 14 pants which also was the smallest I'd been since I was a kid <laughs> and um, then I got pregnant and I gained a whole lot of weight with Jesse a lot of weight I gained like 70 pounds with him the day that I gave birth, I was 254 pounds. And then after he came out and the placenta and everything, I was down to 230. And I've been around 230, late 220s, ever since. So, uh, I haven't gained any weight since I had him. But I haven't lost any of the, <laughs> the pregnancy weight. Other than Jesse and the fluids and placenta and all that. And his placenta was ginormous. Even the nurses and doctors were talking about how big his placenta was. It was huge. 
but um the nerd the midwife when it came out she lifted it up to show me because i asked her to show it to me when it came out because i wanted to see it you know i've never seen one up close personal and um it was like all she could do to hold it up with her two hands she had it in both hands and it was huge anyways that's tmi i hope <laughs> i don't know but i mean almost all of us who are women who have had babies or been around people with babies or something so we all should be kind of accustomed to baby talk i don't know <laughs> but i'm gonna hop up here and work on this um cowl for my mom and i'm gonna watch some jeopardy i think on netflix <laughs> they got some collections of it on there so i've been me and jesse me and devin's been watching it and it's fun to try to guess the um the, the questions <laughs> and get them right but yeah so this is probably the last clip for tonight i think this was a short video i can't remember what else i filmed today <laughs> but it's a weekend and when devin's off uh we spend a lot of time together you know the three of us so I don't like to film stuff like that unless we're out and about doing stuff because it's private time or whatever. But yeah, we went and got ice cream earlier. And then we, or shakes, it was milkshakes. And we drove around a little bit and we came home and just chilling. Yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for number seven. Yeah.